What's going on, everyone? Well, for like whoever's gonna watch this video of me in the early morning with no coffee, I'm trying to do some laundry before I have to go to work, which I should have done last night, but I did not. Don't judge me. Anyway, some of you or one of you lovely individuals posted this on guitar tabs. And I didn't want to Google it until now because I wanted to learn it myself. And I was like, oh, I'm dedicated to trying to figure out how to learn this song. And it's probably really complicated and it's going to be hard. And I never really figured it out. And now I know how to play it. And it's probably one of the easiest songs I'll ever play in my life. So, here's how to tune your guitar for an easy, easy, not dead yet. So, you want to use open D tuning, which sounds like this. It's a big old D. <laughs> right? So that is D, A, D, F sharp, A, and D. Once again, D, <laughs> A, D, F sharp, A, D. Right? And side note, there's like a ton of things you can do with this open D. Like, honestly, just from a creative standpoint, with just one note, so. possibilities with open D are kind of endless, right? And if you bar it, it's still just like another note. Like it's awesome. Anyway, take your capo and put it on three. I tried to do something cool there, but it didn't work. <laughs> so now you have an F. Sounds pretty dope as it is. All you have to do is use this string, that one, and go like this. That's it. There's a dog peeing in my bush right now. Can you believe that? If y'all have dogs, make it pee in your bush. Get off my old property. I like dogs, but I don't want them to pee in my bush. Because if ten dogs pee in my bush, my bush is going to smell like pee. It's going to look like pee. And HOA will just have to come and put another bush in there. Do you want that to happen? Would it be as a result of your dog? Let the dog pee in the large lot across the street that's full of grass. Why have pee in my bush? I don't know. Anyway, back to not dead yet. That's the whole song. So, just real quick, parts of it. Alright, 
That's pretty much it. You got holes in your clothes. And booze. You got holes in your clothes. And booze on your breath. It look like hell, but you smell like death. Uh -huh. And you have to sing it like Elvis when you, when you sing this song. You can't just sing it like, I got holes in my clothes and boo. No, no. You have to sing it like Elvis. You have to get. I don't know. Country? You have, to, you have to do something. Don't just be like, how does this start? <laughs> uh, well, I'll just do this. I've been out way too long, heading right for the edge. If she asks about... No, no, it doesn't sound good. Even if you're on key, it still doesn't say, nobody wants to listen to that. You have to get, you have to get busy with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Get into it, man. Don't just like sing it. Everybody can do that. You know what I mean? Anyway. As far as strumming pattern, I think it sounds better like this, like, you strum up when you hammer on. I know that's really confusing, but like... Good practice anyway. And also, when we're strumming people, I'm no expert, man, but when we're strumming, we don't want to strum like this. I mean, it sounds okay for this song, but like, put some effort into it, right? So for this one, we want to be like, hitting the bottom three or four notes. I'm not all the way up here. We don't need that yet. We want some feels, right? You can even start like this. Like mute it with your palm. You know what I'm saying? Just, just like do something creative. Don't just be like this. Oh, messed up. Nowhere to go. I stare at myself in the mirror alone. That sucks. Don't do that. All right. Have a good day. <laughs>